Blunt, obviously uh, an emotional win for you. Uh, give yeah. us an idea of kind of what the feeling is right now. What's going through your head? Yeah, I mean, it's, for me, it's a miracle, you know. Um, I I was released, yeah, like that, not not officially, but we received our our camp received an email like three weeks ago that they will cut me out, cut me out of the of the UFC. So I was so depressed because I have no chance to prove myself. Because after the two unfortunate losses, I was cut and I did not train. I was so depressed. I I go out, go out with my girl, um, play with my dogs. I was just at home, like forgetting the sadness that my dream as a UFC fighter was cut shortly. Then two weeks before this fight, I we received an email that that UFC wants me to fight for the UFC Shanghai. I am a so overweight. I am 79 kg back then. I have I'm I'm so out of shape. And according to my uncle, so what? Maybe this is the last chance for you to prove yourself. Said okay, I will cut like 12 kg in two weeks. I will prepare myself. And if the it is the last fight of me in the UFC, so be it. But I will give my best. So it's by God's grace. But God grace, by the name of Jesus Christ, I I won this fight because in two weeks I need to cut 12 kg, 13 kg to like near 13 kg. Then I need, I need to be in shape for this fight. I can't believe that I finished three round. That yes, I over I overweight for two pounds because that's the only thing I can do for two weeks. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm so grateful to the to the over the, to the opportunity that UFC gave me. To prove myself once more, and I hope after this win, UFC will will decide to, to make me stay here because I believe with all with with without any doubt that I belong here. My heart belongs here, my mind belongs here, and I know my skills right now doesn't belong to the top 10, even in the top 10. But I will strive. I'm young. I'm 27 years old, and I started this mixed martial art when I was 21 years old. I started late. I I have a lot more improvements in myself. And by the help of Jesus Christ, my Savior and Lord, I know I'll be there. And it's, it's an embarrassing fact that I, I myself gave up to, to my dream that, 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 that fast. And, and, and God gave me and UFC gave me the opportunity to prove myself right now. And by God's grace, I deliver. Promise my next fight, I will improve more. And I believe, 100%, I believe that I belong here. I had read that. I mean, you had said you retired, right? I mean, yeah. so did, did you? I mean, you felt, thought you'd never compete again? Yeah. Um, I after UFC caught me, I was so depressed. I said, "Man, I've I've reached my dream." Then I was cut right away. I have no, I have no chance to recover my losses to prove myself. I know I I, I belong there, but they cut me early. I don't blame them because this is the most pre prestigious stage, and I didn't deliver for two fights. And only, man, I'm so grateful. I'm not, I have no sad feelings with the UFC. I'm so grateful that they gave me one more opportunity to prove myself. I know, I know. I belong here, my heart belongs here. I will train hard after this, improve more, and I will fight my way on top. I'm not a mediocre kind of person. This is my dream and I will fight for it. Did you train at all for this fight or was it just about losing weight? Losing weight and yeah, just losing weight and running. I mean, I did not focus on my technique. I guess there is too late to to learn more things, to add more weapons in my arsenal. And so, what my goal is to cut the weight, the 12 kg, the 13 kg, near 13 kg to be exact, and to be in shape. I'm not like 100%. That right there is a miracle from God, and by heart, you know. I'm so tired in the second round, but I said, I will, this, this Chinese guy, I respect Willy Jiburan, but he is not the guy who will take my dream away from me. He is not the guy who will beat me. Even I'm 10% in the octagon tonight, I will not let anybody take away my dream. So what lesson do you take out of this? I mean, knowing that you gave up on yourself, but now you're here, you're victorious. What, what lesson do you take from this? Don't give up on your dreams that fast. I mean, it's a rocky road. I mean. Um, it's not easy to be in the, to get your dreams. I mean, if your dream is too easy, you should find another dream. You know, um, uh, God gave me uh, the, the setbacks, bumpy road, rocky road, 
to get my get my dream I'm still I'm still there I'm still I'm not in the finish line I'm far away from the finish line so what I will do now is what I can say to other people don't give up on your dream because because your dream will not give up on you and you cannot you cannot I'm, I'm so proud you know I'm so proud before the two losses I believe I'm one of the best in the Philippines I believe I belong I one of the best I'm so proud I forget the fact that God God gave that talent to me and I'm, I'm, to, I'm so proud that I think that I'm this all by me this all by skills but God gave me two losses and I, I was reminded that God this all these things was given is a gift from God that I should not be proud about myself. I should use this to glorify him more.